Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am at Case of the Mob Cave. Welcome back to Base Race November. November last year, holy crap. <laughs> For the random draw, we're going to be selecting which build, which mystery build is going to be used as the spawn base next month. Um, also, we're going to be going over what the mystery items do. Because that was never answered. So, yeah, if anyone's interested in that, stick around. Because I'm going to be going over all the uh, the little details, what they were useful for. Anyone who doesn't remember or uh, or didn't watch that season, basically we had a bunch of items, all of these ones, as the special, you know, the 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 pros, the the benefits of the month. But I didn't tell you how to use them. All I said was they are OP, they are super powered, but I'm not going to tell you how to use them. So it's a mystery. You got to figure it out. Anyway. We had five builds for the mystery month. Let's have a look. So we had Batheart with the Lost City of Atlantis, although I like to call it Batlantis. <laughs> we have Color Worlds with the Mysterious House. We have Grandma's Gone Gaming with uh, her version of the Bermuda Triangle in Minecraft. So it is the Minecraft Triangle. MP Plays and Jungle all the way with the Mystery Shack. And OG with the Cluedo Mansion. We have some fantastic builds here, honestly. If you haven't seen them, go and check them out. They are on the base race builds section of the forum, and that is linked in the description down below. But yeah, some really great like ideas and creativity put into these builds. So yeah, yeah, there are some really good ones. Seriously, go and check them out if you haven't seen them already. I know they were a while ago, but builds never go out of style. So definitely go and check them out. Now, before I click that button, we decide or we find out who, who is going to be the, or who, ha, who will have the base that will be used next month? Let's find out what these things do. So, first off, sorry, I have a cold, um, and I'm trying not to let it show, and I wanted to get this done as quickly as possible, but obviously this is going to be a slightly longer one than usual. Uh, let us spawn in some mobs. In fact, let's turn it to night time. And then if we go and spawn in some... Let's have some... Oh, I mean, we definitely need some zombies. Yep, because they're the special zombies in this one. And some creepers, why not? And a ghast! <laughs> no. Uh, skeleton, there we go. So we've got the some of the three normal things. Firstly... I love this. I love this. Like, as a long-term musician, this is just very pleasing to me. <laughs> they're all in the key. They're like they're all in one key. They don't go out of key from each other, so it sounds nice. It doesn't sound out of tune, you know, discordant. Um, it all just fits. And they all play at the same time, so it's like they're playing chords together. I can put another one down, and it it's just playing all together. Isn't that nice? Anyway, I was I was proud of that. Anyway. We've also got, let's put down some creepers and some skeletons. So, the Patreon reward was you get to play around with my stick. <laughs> my walking stick. And basically, all this does is every time you hit it, it gives you XP. Um, except only one, if I, hmm, I can't really set myself to game mode zero because they'll absolutely mash me, but only one of the balls that you see, one of those orbs, um, gives me any XP. The other ones are kind of fake XP, they don't really do anything, but it's just an effect. Because this is the Patreon reward, uh, it's generally Patreon rewards are just visual things, you know, aesthetic. Um, but I thought that was kind of cool, kind of nice. Look at that, isn't that sweet? Anyway, let's place some more down. Let's have a look at what the, the seriously cool thingy items do. Let's start off with this one. So, I was thinking that Mystery Boots people would immediately think, okay, their boots, I'll put them on. Nothing happens, and so they'll start trying things, you know, they'll try out paths, like looking directly downwards and jumping, or, you know, looking directly downwards and shifting, or shifting and upwards, or something along those lines, but nothing would happen. And that is because you're actually meant to put them in your offhand, because why would you expect you had to do that? Um, and it gives you some insane speed three and, like, Haste 30 or something. It's insane haste. Um, if I just run somewhere safe-ish for a moment. <laughs> running into a, a a really dark forest. 
Why don't you just go game mode zero for a moment? Like, that is so fast for punching wood. And when you've actually got a pick, it just screams through the, uh, the, the stone and stuff. So, yeah, very, very useful. Um, I thought that would just be just something that's generally useful all round. Um, it's not an offensive capability, but, you know, it will speed up your race. You can run around, you can dig things really fast. It's a general all round nice item to have. All right, let's take that off. Secondly, the mystery mushroom. First off, if you place it, you wreck it. It's gone. It's done forever. Um, so don't do that. What it is actually used for, like, I, again, I was expecting people to do all sorts of things with this, try hitting things with mushrooms and, and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, let's place a few thingies around. What this does is that when you throw it on the floor, it lifts up every... Is it every hostile mob? Hang on, I can check this out for you. Let's just quickly have a look. The mushroom lifts up. Yeah, every single mob that is not a player gets lifted up within 40 blocks. 40 block radius of you. That is gigantic. You can just throw it down and then nothing can touch you, pretty much. Like, underground is not as useful. That's why it has such a huge range compared to the other, the stick, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, obviously, skeletons can still shoot at you, but, you know, this holds everything still. It just stops mobs in its tracks, in their tracks. And then you let go of it, and suddenly, that happens. <laughs> Which is why it's so, so freaking powerful on the surface. But there you go, that is what the, the mystery mushroom does. Place a few more things around. Finally, the mystery stick. Now, again, I was expecting people to hit things with it, and nothing happens. Um, we saw that several people started trying to make a weapon out of the stick. That, that just wastes the stick, doesn't happen, doesn't work. What you actually have to do is combine several of the things that, uh, several of the triggers that I've had before. So, holding the stick, looking directly downwards, and shifting doesn't do anything. But if you shift and jump at the same time, suddenly it polymorphs every hostile mob within like 16 blocks of you into bats. So it has a lot shorter range than the mushroom. You see these uh, creepers, yeah, creepers over here weren't affected. But, uh, it's yeah, a lot shorter range than the mushroom, but it works underground, it works above ground, you just do this, and they're gone. Done. Like, that is super powered. That is incredibly powerful, if you work out how to do it. And that's why I feel like the trigger for this one was a little bit more difficult than uh, the other ones. Like, you may discover this one by accident, just putting it into your offhand, and suddenly... Whoa, I've got, I, you know, the screen changes and you immediately realize that you've got this superpower. But then this isn't an, isn't an offensive capability, it's just very helpful. Um, the mystery mushroom... You might end up accidentally chucking it on the floor. You know, like, again, you could discover this by accident. Um, but I feel like it's a little bit harder to figure out than, you know, people don't generally chuck things out of their inventory, especially a, a special item. Um... So it's a little bit harder to figure out than the stick, that's for sure. Um, and that's why it's not quite as powerful underground. You know, it's got a downside to it as well. And then finally, you've got, uh, yeah, the stick, which which very difficult to work out the trigger. But if you do, nothing can ever touch you again. You just do that every single time you're in danger. And you can cut the music short. And there you go. That is, that is everything. That those are the mystery items for this month. All right. Without any further ado, let's move these out of our inventory, and we're going to find out whose mystery build is going to be used for next month. Drum roll, please. Orange. MP plays and jungle all the way with the mystery shack. Oh my god. That's wait. That's second in a row because we've just got out of the Christmas month where we were inside. Um, Krampus, which was also done by MP Place and Jungle all the way. But there you go. Congratulations, guys. It is a fantastic build. Honestly, really, really good build. Very creative. It looks fantastic. Very, very impressive indeed. And now it's raining. <laughs> Look what you did. You made it rain. Um, yeah, again, not time set. Let's tog. Again, please go and check out all the builds because there are some fantastic ones in there. They are in the description. Uh, which will take you to the build section of the forum. That's where you should always go. Everything is on the forum. Um, again, 
Thank you very much for watching. Congratulations, MP plays and jungle all the way. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing in the Mystery Shack next month. <laughs> all right. Waggle the stick. I'm not waggling the stick. Why am I? Oh, what? Waggle the stick. There we go. I'm waggling the stick. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.